Oh, the worst defendant in court ever. <laughs> Yo, Your the Honor. case was almost <laughs> over. <laughs> Adam, the case was almost over. I, I can't. It makes me feel whenever I. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, bro. I, I say I say oh, it with a smile on my face. Extra whipped cream, caramel, a little bit. The dude asked me the other day, oh, I got a chai latte. He goes, do you want a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon on top? I go, you know what? No one's ever asked me that before. Yeah. Yes, I would. You know what Nico said about the song you were playing? What? Straight cash. Don't oh, wow, really? Don't put that as an intro. The one that, not the one that came, that faded in no, as no, the no, intro no, no, was no, coming no. on. That, that was, was always fire. Wonderful. It was the one that was playing from the cell phone. That oh, was garbage. You don't, you don't like rock music? No, I love, nah, you, you got out your mind. I love rock music. That was that trash, was trash rock okay. music, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. for the amount of it that I heard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who knows? I could have came in, like, it's like a rap song. You, you might have came in at the bad part. It, it's like a rap song when Lil Wayne stops rapping. You know what I'm saying? He like, was here for enough I might, of it. I might come in, <laughs> I might come <laughs> in, and it, once he done, it might be trash. Who might, knows? You maybe, never know. It's just, I used to feel maybe that I came about, in the bad part. I used to feel that about Eminem. Like, it was, there were certain songs I was like, oh, dog, I just want to hear his feature. I don't mm -hmm. need to hear nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to love it when they'd be like, same thing, dudes on a song, you're like, there's only one. There's yeah. only one. That, him and Jay. Hear. Him and Jay? Him and Jay is, 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 I never liked Nas on a feature. I, I always thought he was on, on his own shit. On his own shit, I could listen to Nas all day, yeah, but yeah, yeah. on a feature, for some reason, I'm like, Nas not really, not really, not really. Gotcha. I can't believe I'm saying this on camera. I would never admit, I should have never admitted to that. I hope to one day meet Nas. <laughs> what, one? <laughs> I hope to one day meet Nas. I mean, it doesn't make yeah. Nas any less great. Yeah, that's, true. that's very <laughs> true. Like, overvaluing your opinion. Guys, before we keep going. Like, something you said on this going, Take away from, like, come on, yeah, we gotta yeah, be you're honest. Right, you right, you right, right. Nah, I was gonna hear that shit and cry into his money. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, guys, before we get started, this is Doped Up and Dying, the, the Sunday, Sunday Morning, morning Smoke Show. Show. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negu. Sitting beside me is the Dos Dos Don Bon Bonio nah, of nah, comedy, you said that all wrong. Kevin it's a, Sanchez. It's the Dos Uno Dos Don Bandito. I can't say any of that. Dos, 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 Sitting dos, across dos, from him is your other co host. Dos, dos, he's dos. everyone's favorite comedian, now he's yours, DC Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy hero right there, that's man. Your that's, that's, that's my comedy that's, hero, that's, dog. That's, your, that's everyone's comedy hero right there. He made a crippled man stand. I'm never going to forget true. that. That's very true. That's a fact. Never going to forget that. very true. And you sitting know? beside him is our guest for this evening. You see him on Pete Davidson pres pre presents Ooh. The Best Friends. Guys, it's New York legend. You've seen him since he was 14 years old. 14? Oh. Nico, Nico White. Stop, stop White. Stop Let me tell you something about Nico real quick. On, Nico don't remember this. But Nico was mad kind to me when I first started comedy, son. Oh, yeah? You were kind Really? I had the complete opposite story. <laughs> 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 we'll get into that. Nico, Nico was mad because I was like, I was a stand-up New York. Mm -hmm. You just how happened. To, you never go to this. is You were already like going on tour and stuff. Like, you were doing things. Mm -hmm. And you were, for some reason, I was 16 at the time. Waiting for the, <laughs> for the 7 p.m. show. Yeah, yeah. And... People were like whispering, oh, Nico, why are you talking to Nico? Ah, that's weird. Right? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's weird to hear. I know nah, it's dope, but it's weird. <laughs> it's dope, but it's weird, right? Yeah. Well, Dylan told me this when I first started uh, when I first started getting a little bit of something happening. It was like your first fans are gonna be comedians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So anyway, I went out there, I was like, who's Nico? I wanted to and and honestly I'm be surprised I was surprised it was a black dude. I, I yeah, don't know yeah. why. I was just, just oh, thank God he's black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Then I went up to I felt more comfortable going up to you. Facts, then. yeah. So I went up to you, I said, Yo, what up? And you're like, I'm like, yo, I just started comedy. I like I heard that you man nice. Mm -hmm. How do I get nice? Mm -hmm. And I know that's a dumb question to ask. I know it's almost embarrassing it's to admit. It's an early question, sir. It's an early question. Just give me like <laughs> And then and then you were like, you showed me your notebook. And mm -hmm. you're like, you gotta write all day long. Mm -hmm. That's what you, you just showed me a butt. Like, it was crazy. Like, damn, I don't write like that at all. So, <laughs> and I was like, how do you write? You answered all my questions. It was really nice. You had no reason to do it. You just did it. And I, don't, and I always remember that shit, dog. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Good to see you again. We're we going to start, we gonna start with positivity. I never <laughs> yeah. start with positivity. That positivity nah, that's excellent, excellent, man. man. Don't that, feel weird about it either. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, again, complete opposite story. So I heard uh, the rumblings of Nico White. I was like, oh, I'm going to go look up this dude. I want to see how he is. I saw he was a black guy. I was like, ah, oh, this could be hard for me to see. Uh, this is going to be not, this is going to be really awkward. I walked up to you I was like hey man you're really good you went eh. and that was our interaction yeah that, that never like, happened <laughs> 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 no, 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 no that didn't happen I'm joking it was, it's actually time. it's always Rumor funny like Nika I feel like we are um, you're one of those people that I, I respect I've seen I since I've come into uh, comedy four years ago, always heard about you. I've seen you because I know uh, you're friends with uh, Dean David. Mm -hmm. So I knew Dean before I knew you. Because <laughs> you you're little brother. Dean David. Well, that's how I knew because I remember <laughs> you brought me to the comic strip live uh, um, like holiday party, mm -hmm. and I think it was the first time I ever actually actually had like a real interaction with you. Yeah, pulled up, nice little beamer up front. Yeah, White, yeah. I remember that. 
I didn't do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't him. That. that was another guy. That was another, was another guy. guy. And he he smoked cigars. Yo, yo, yeah, yo, yo, you got another black person. Yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Nah, bro, chill. <laughs> I didn't have. Why'd you get out of the car then? <laughs> I didn't have a what? beamer at all. <laughs> I don't have a beamer at all. <laughs> I'm you talking making, about what I brought you to the comments of your life party? No, nah, I'm just making up something. Yeah, you are. I was like, he didn't bring you there. I was like, I'm just trying to make a villain arc for Nico that doesn't exist. He's too nice, guys. He's been too nice for too long. I can villain you easily. We, we, we can start there. I don't like the glasses. I don't like the shirt that much. You know what I'm saying? You don't like Wohop? No. Not Wohop's at all. Something now, colonizer about now it, Now, you too. see how awkward it get once we yeah. start doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer yeah, yeah. to be cool. <laughs> so, that's at, so again, I, I, was, I, was trying to, I was trying to push it out. I was trying to get it out of you. What I was going to say was, Nico, we have a couple clips here because mm -hmm. you were such a calm dude. I don't, I don't think I've seen you ever truly be a hater. I don't think I've ever seen you... Lash out get Have you ever had one of these And uh, uh, Natalie You have the first video Of the guy uh, freaking out Can you pull that up I just want to know if, <laughs> Has Nico White Ever had a, 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 a This moment Because okay. all I ever see Is a calm dude Most of the time Nat Natalie do, do we have a said video Give me two seconds This is, computer is not with Interacting with me this? No mm -hmm. we did No I know what video it is There's a fucking this? Um, I'm not sure. Natalie thought you were roasting you, her. Yeah, no, I, I really saying, did for a second. I was not paying this attention. Guy's like, usually you're this guy, you're this guy. I'm like, bro, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think this thing is ever Nico. Fetching, bro. <laughs> <laughs> From, <laughs> I was like, what is happening right now? I mean, again, I will say, I will say, comedy is all about timing. <laughs> it's a goddamn video. Bro, you literally just created a reality, bro. <laughs> you know, before this, he was like, Please I don't think. Pull up the before video. this, he goes, I don't think Nico White likes me that much, yo. I'm like. <laughs> I was trying to tell him, I don't think Nico knows you, bro. Like, he, he's not thinking about you. About you I don't, yo, if, you, if, you, if that's something that you actually said, I hope that it wasn't. <laughs> if that's something that you actually thought, definitely um, not the case. You know what I'm no, you're always a very, cool. again, I, again, I'm saying this from on and off stage. You're a very mm -hmm. cool dude. You see, I feel like you're a very corner of the room, smoking blunt to yourself, dude. The people you know, you hang out with your, with your, with your guys. So again, mm -hmm. for me, it's always like, as a younger comic, I didn't know if you liked me or didn't. But it's always because again, you're doing your own thing. Look, you're in your own look, world. Look, look at it this way, right? And I want to be 100 percent honest with you, right? I'm not even thinking about it. That's uh, what he said he was gonna so, say. No, but look, no, Pete, <laughs> because and this is something that you need to know because you said, you know, you over there hanging. No, you don't come over to the group to say hello to me while I'm with my friends. That's a choice Another you made. In common, right? That don't got yeah, shit to yeah. do with me. <laughs> so while I'm over there chilling, you over there thinking about shit. Just come over and say hi. Because then man. that way you don't got to walk around thinking to yourself, oh, that. does he like me? Bro, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not against you, <laughs> nigga. I'm here on your podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, he goes all that now. He just gets nervous. Dude. <laughs> so don't be nervous. You know what I'm saying. I just wanted to lay up for this video, guys. I swear to God, in all honesty, <laughs> if we just had the fucking video when well, we wanted to, it would have been like, no, but that was Nico, also, have you also, screened but, like this? Dude, and, that was also a wise thing to yeah, say, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it was very, and we found neutral ground. Yeah, you know, exactly. Gotta be there you go. Too genuine. There though. you go. But that, yeah. that's what you need. You need more of that, especially in the world and in comedy. Natalie, please for the future, please log into Facebook for the videos in future head time. Get out of the truck, little lady! No, I'm good. See, because you know you lose. How do I lose? Because I will beat your fucking dick into the ground all day long. Mm -hmm. That's kind of gay, isn't it? I will beat your dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That, yeah. That's hilarious. Yo, you know, um, like, do you understand that unhinged level of um, anger of like... Yes, yeah. I'm from Harlem, the land of the pause. So that whole thing is great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he taught himself, the fact that he, yeah, yeah the bro. fact that he taught himself into everything that happened, hilarious. Um, as far as the unhingedness, yeah, I live in New York, bro. It's you that unhinged that, yeah. most of the time. I'm not not used to what we just saw. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That level of unhinged, that level of one person wanting to go there, the other person seemingly trying to avoid there but also looking like they are fine with going there i don't so, yeah i don't understand how you can come out your car start talking shit look down realize you got flip-flops on and still want to fight <laughs> that's, 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 that's person that's is having a bad day <laughs> oh man that's how you die bro yeah. like that's exactly or how, how you, you kill die. people you never you never know nah. you know what i'm saying you never know Yo, a flip Flip flops is either absolutely winning immediately or losing immediately. There's like, no middle ground. One or the other. Nah, if, yeah, he, like, if he was in shape, I'd be scared because I'm like, oh, he just came out of yeah. jujitsu, some MMA shit. Also, a Caribbean nigga in flip flops. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. He arguing, he's going to wall out for real. But look at my man's hair. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> straight up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
He he he's unhinged. He's unready for anything. Yeah. That <laughs> motherfucker gonna shoot something or eat it. That's not <laughs> shoot something then eat it. <laughs> or that or that fucking cannibal. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment like that, Nico? You ever had like a uh, an explosion moment, like a restaurant or some shit? Um, I don't know, I don't know why. In, um, I'm just like because I, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't see it from you, and that's what I'm right. asking. So I'm um, like, I'm yeah. I'm, I've had every human reaction. Yes, <laughs> every. I want a story. Every. Give me a story, Nico. Okay. Um. No. But yeah, I've had every human reaction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if yeah. you want a story of like when I got, you know, I, I can't think of a time where I've been that out of pocket. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit wild. seemed uncalled. Well, you from yeah. Harlem. I usually have a reason to do something yeah. like that. So being from, I'm from Harlem as well. We know like, hey. East Harlem or the U.S.? I'm Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was no longer an A. <laughs> That's a good answer. But nah, I'm <laughs> from there. So like you were saying. So, like, unless you have to do something, yeah. don't do Like, New Yorkers think like that. I shouldn't even yeah. say yeah. Harlem. If you don't have to do something, you could avoid it. Avoid that Mind, shit, mind your business. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one That's of those a lost things. Art. Mind your business. Yeah. And it's like, you know, why get in trouble if you can avoid it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm... Peaceful joking dude. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's, that's the reason why I tell jokes. I don't want to do anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm Did you guys see that video bone. of uh, those two girls like in um like Upper West Side? I think it was in the Hell's Kitchen. Mm-hmm. They would get charged like two dollars for extra ketchup. It was just talking and they about just that. trashed the entire store now. That was in Lulo. That was in Lulo and it was by three seventy five chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the it was across the street from it. Mm-hmm. Um can I be real with you? I'm gonna keep it funky. Yo, I like what they don't, did. Don't charge me a dollar seventy five for a packet of sauce. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's kind of that. crazy. Bro. That's inflation, crazy. though. I think it's inflation. Inflate, it's part, it's that used to be free, dog. Yeah, yeah that was free for a long time. People be talking shit. Yeah. When now they it's come like three hundred thousand yeah. dollars for all the damage they did, but they did to the restaurant. That's their excuse though. and shit. That's their wow. excuse. That's what's crazy. But you remember when they used to just give you sauce, even like everywhere sauce was free. Free. Yeah. Like I ordered Shake Shack the other day and. Bro, the shit we they ordered charge you? mad chicken sandwich. No, no, no. Here's the thing. They sent no sauce, not even ketchup. You lying. What? They sent no sauce, no ketchup. I'm like, hey, Chick fil A would have never done did, that. Did shit. y'all notice that we all had to become like cashiers and shit when we go yeah, to the bro. Yeah, like, yo, That shit is if annoying. I'm a, if I'ma pack my own bags, I need a discount on the shit I'm buying yeah, by a certain bro, percentage. Dude, go to Rite Aid. It's a hundred percent discounted. No, but see, <laughs> fuck all that. I'm talking about where I buy my actual food from, like yeah. Fairway and such yeah. and he's such. He's talking like, about stealing. That's what he's talking no? about. No? Oh, I mean, <laughs> steal all you want. <laughs> <100%. Say> that, <laughs> oh, feel free to steal all you want, but <laughs> why? Now this is OD. They the gotta only... be from Miami. Oh, they're from New York. <laughs> they're not from they're Miami. They're from New York. They're from New York. <laughs> she threw a steel <laughs> chair chick. That's so See, that's wild. Crazy. That is the only thing that irks me is that's not the owner. That's yeah, just nah, the person it's just that works. Dude, I just had the same thought. Like the yeah. person who's behind the counter doesn't fuck. Yeah. yeah, trust me. Also, if, when I first saw this, I I, I mean, this is I it's do crazy think that this is an running. awesome video because you see the smiles on their face. They're like everybody wants to do that. Who's smiling? The girl while she was throwing like go go go, yeah. go back go, yeah. go, go, go back. I didn't see nobody smile. No, no go back. She's go smiling. Back. You got on black glasses, seeing <laughs> fake no. shit about no. black people. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he made up stories about you. The beginning, not, not dog. About, I think there was. Race. One, I think there was <laughs> one. It's not about race. This nigga is R. L. Stein. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. I think there's only one black Natalie, why girl you pull in back it. Up the video? Why do you hate the girl in the way back was white? Every time I gotta open it, I have to watch another forty-two second ad. <laughs> gotta weird. pay for that premium, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there. One in the we don't know the audio. Smile. 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 That's a she's drunken smart, smirk, that's a smirk, nigga. That's a smirk. She's smirking. She's smirking. She's smirking. She's smirking. They probably both the fucked up. The definition of a smirk or a she, smile right now, guys. Bit. Yeah, her you friend know, trying was, to fake grab her. We arguing doing. over body language. Yeah, <laughs> that smirk was like, I'm going to hop over this. Yeah, 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 that was a threat. Yeah, that was. She's enjoying this. Yeah, that was for sure. <laughs> this, she's oh, like, oh, you don't her know friends how much I'm going to No, that's not a smirk. She just... That's she realized face. she was too. Her, you yeah, saw the back though. Face. She realized too. She was too Joe. heavy to use that to clap. Yeah, huh? Oh, that's funny. Joe, look, look, look <laughs> both, both of them. That's oh, their face. <laughs> she threw the. Go- Wait, oh, this is like throwing the, the garbage. The this don't look started. like three hundred thousand dollars worth of damage though. Yeah, I mean, they're going to say whatever they got to say to insurance yeah, company. Yeah, they drunk. Yeah, they, they drunk definitely shit. drunk. Oh my God. They drunk as shit. <laughs> Crazy Look, and that ain't no smile now. She, she laughed. Laugh. <laughs> damn. That, that was like when I watched Dwayne <laughs> Wade. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, that was hard. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Like she throw a oh, ketchup or oh, sauce pack. Yeah, they just being packed. Right? They, they, yeah, they yeah, drunk so and belligerent. Petty. You said that was a what? Yeah. Uh, a McDonald's? Nah, that, this no, this is no, next to three seventy five. Okay, I'm like, that's a nice. I look like a, 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 a,
Yeah, none of this is three hundred thousand. I don't, I don't look, see look that. Y'all inflating the lawsuit this shit. Is. The lawsuit, I could see if I'm the empl- if I'm the employee, mm-hmm. I would sue the owner for charging that and risking my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, something yeah, else that yeah, has to come off. up too, where yeah. it's like you know you gotta keep those people in mind because they don't. Mm-hmm. A lot of times they enforcing rules they don't even want to enforce. Right. They know that shit is bullshit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, if I don't do it, I'm going to get in trouble. And then the trouble that they get into is actually real trouble. Real Yeah. Tr- yeah. Over some shit that's not even their fault. That's Can I say a, an annoying thing that just happened to me? And I'll keep it brief. Yeah. yeah. For the same kind of shit, I was at a liquor store with three of my friends the other day, and they wouldn't sell it to us without all of us showing our IDs. What? We're all 25. <laughs> what? And my girlfriend's ID was like a week and a half expired, and they would not sell it to us. I just want you to know that the a white woman being hassled, it warms his heart. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you thought I was going to say. Hey, what's the name? This, is, this is Nico's early would, Christmas present right there, huh? I'm I was saying it with to you, more Natalie. be like, I get that they're doing their job, but you yeah, can also right. admit this is a fucking stupid role. Like, right, that's right. That's crazy. Right, there's, a, there's a viral video that went around this other uh, uh, dude on a motorcycle, like, said bye to another friend on a motorcycle, and they just drove away, left the gas station. Yeah. And then he goes in and grabs, like, a pack of beer, and the girl goes, well, I need to see your friend's ID. They're like, he's like, excuse I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, the friend you just wrote in oh. on, the woman, I need to see her ID, too. That's my favorite thing to watch is that there's this YouTube mm. channel where... A lord, I don't know who runs it, but it's about when cops fuck up. Dude, that's my. It's that's the opposite channel. of cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, it, it, oh my. And then the opposite they, of cops. They show you the how the much show. they get sued for. The yeah. cra- right. and, and the guy tells you all the laws, all your fucking rights. Why? Why? Like he's. Oh, dude, it's the best. It's yeah. the fucking best. You know, and they the, can't. They technically, depending on the state, can't. I've seen so many of these videos. They can't <laughs> ask. Kevin the, knows every state law. They can't ask there's for the passengers. There's joy in your voice. Yeah, yeah. Dude, because passion. There's nothing, I don't hate cops. Mm-hmm. But I don't like them. It's just the way I grew up. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know how to. I saw a video. East side, man. Maybe yeah. you can I feel like being video. a cop is mad Dominican, though. That's yeah, like low yeah, 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 bro. Don't, it kind of is. Don't, no, it's not, bro. <laughs> is, bro. Right, Only elaborate? Dominican chicks be cops, bro. <laughs> oh, I mean, right, Dominican right, chicks, right, white right. women be cops. You don't see. You know what I mean? It's mostly them that are cops that I see, bro. Dude, I don't. I would. Where you be at? <laughs> right here, bro. Where you be at? Be right here, you need bro. to hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking of DC, a, a, a new T-shirt, new hat. I mean, you got a little money in your life. You're looking, looking good, that, man. He said that. He said that two times outside already. He couldn't wait to say it on the podcast. Talking about black people, like, <laughs> 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 hey man, you got a T-shirt. Got everything <laughs> about Ooh. race. That's my best friend. He was wearing I Heart New York City T-shirts for the first three years I knew him. Yo, listen. Dude said that to me twice already. <laughs> so he finally has a sarcasm ain't his shit. No, 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 stop. Which is crazy. You know what it is, it's, though, it's Nico. Good on he, gets, he gets blamed, like not blamed, but like a lot of shit happens in the. They put it on they you. They put it on race. It's, it's, always, a, it's always the white Around guy, them. Nico. It's always because I'm white. Maybe I, I mean, it is. Why can't I be 24 years and dumb? Why can't I just be dumb, Nico? Because you Cause ain't you stupid. Because yeah. I'm white. Because I'm, I'm white. You ain't stupid. I'm white. You ain't stupid enough to look at another person and be like, hey, man. You got a new shirt. You got a new hat. Like Fuck that. him being black. Look, 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 look. Yo, man, you got some new glasses. I did, but I've been you feeling good. But I'm gonna my shit hat. Yo, you got a new pen. Yeah. My oh. nigga, you look intelligent. Well, honestly, <laughs> I don't think you understand. I love all of this. Uh, uh, this is what I want. Your eyes behind your shades don't say that. <laughs> Can I trust you? Eyes behind the shades. You look comfortably <laughs> uncomfortable. So, God, I really enjoy that. <laughs> now. I don't want to just blame those girls, by the way. Because mm-hmm. sometimes these employees are there. She's there at 2 in the morning. Her feet I, hurt. Whoever's right. behind the register. Right. You don't know what that person said. That person could have been like, if you can't afford it, right. then leave. It, it's, a, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of things you got to think about, right? But then you look at what happened and you go, whatever they said ain't really deserved that. That's no, true. I didn't. You know what not I mean? a steel chair. And women don't like accountability. Let's not forget that. So that's You see what is back in the pot. Baby, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta put that out there because then people are gonna <laughs> see that. Like, they're gonna be like, but what did we do? And it's just like, but you vandalized some nah, shit. Nah, but like, whether or not they want to be accountable, like you said, they ain't they in court? Mm. They, they are, how, right? yeah, what, yeah. what are they in court for? Like, um, what's the how Probably. much money? What's the damages again? I was still looking. Three hundred. I know. I know it's a lot. I remember when I saw the amount. I was like, you know, for a fact, those ladies are like, it's setting in. They're like, would have much rather just bought that ketchup. Of course, that yeah, was not just worth left. It. Yeah, they were yeah, drunk. I was say, or just leave. Like, not really wild. It like says uh, ten to two, 
ten to twenty thousand dollars worth oh, of damage. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Right, okay, oh, all right, that that's sense. about. Yeah, yeah. It probably still more than what they actually cost, but, but if that you, makes sense. if you own a business, you're gonna tell the insurance yeah, company. Yeah, course, I mean, course. like you got hundred thousand dollars. Look, you oh, gotta man, get man. your paper. Yeah, you're gonna lie. You're gonna lie. Yeah, for you're gonna sure. Gotta get your paper. The article also says that they were smiling. It's weird that everyone like <laughs> oh, specifies that. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, all right, Nico, that's Nico. Nico. <laughs> Nico. Yo, ain't that hilarious? That white that's media said the same thing. All right, now, now I, now I agree. Now I'm, now I kind of see your point. Yo, that's yo, that's so. Menacingly. Yo, <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> yo, Patrick you tell, killed that shit. I will, <laughs> guys, I will say, those smiles were kind of frightening. They were very, they were frightening. They were very frightening. They were frightening. Oh. The way she smiled was like, I might lose my life today. <laughs> no, no oh I don't God. know. She, it was just drunk belligerent. It was, it was. But we're going to see. Let's see how Don Lemon justifies it or some shit like how next week on TV. <laughs> I don't think so. That's Don Lemon. I think this is going to fly under the yeah, radar. Really? You think one so? of them things we don't even hear about again. Nah, but. Nah, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, small claims court, I guess, kind of. Yeah. Who's Don Lemon? Just some guy, bro. Some guy on a panel, you know. Black guy? Loves White Biden. Guy? Loves uh, Biden? He's in government? He he is a Democrat. I think he identifies, <laughs> I think he identifies as a Democrat. Do you guys know who this is? <laughs> I know who Don Lemon is. Yeah. Don Lemon is a, CN, he's a CNN correspondent, no? Yes. Oh, yes, okay, he is, okay. yes, he is. Fine. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's know. funny. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, wow. That's this? funny. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> what is he most known for? Uh, <laughs> he don't know why. Oh, no. oh, like, like, you know what it is? Okay. Oh, no. Nah, we don't even need... Mm, nah. <laughs> we don't even find out more about Don Lemon. Not today. Hell no. Nah, There's yeah. got to be something else to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I will say... Uh, Don um, Lemon. I, I, do, I, I, I did want to talk about this as... Uh, and I, Nico, I, I know I, I wanted to get your opinion on um, <laughs> the hour. Can you go to the ball dildo, please? Uh, oh, do what? The ball dildo. Um, it's a weird way you uh, opened with his name. Dildo. Though. Yeah, why did you? <laughs> hey, hey, Nico, can, can we go to the ball dildo? Like, <laughs> no, no, I said Natalie. I said no. Natalie. Um, <laughs> what? Let's scroll down. Now, when he brought this up um, to me, already what? do your thing. <laughs> Your business, not mine, not my thing. Yeah, it no. hurts to think about. <laughs> you, you, you have a you have a girl right now? Nah, I'm single, but I'm not doing that. Period. <laughs> According to the article, it's for people with uh, what's it called, erectile dysfunction. I don't have that. What? Bitch. Oh, really? I was uh, I was uh, I was looking at uh, sex toys with me and my girl, and uh, she was scrolling through, and we were just laughing about this. And then, of course, my algorithm caught on. I'm scrolling right. Facebook, Started, yeah, and then now uh, this is in my algorithm. Can you can you imagine how it works? No, nah, bro. <laughs> and also, when you're on that sex toy site, could, they, you, could you? Did you? So yeah, I mean, that's, I'm that's looking at it. I can't see how it works. Oh, yeah. look. So go back. No, no, I, Nico. It's not that I could. It's that I did my research. Okay. No, so I'm you, asking. Yeah, yeah. You see the bottom, the little. We're gonna call it the the pistol. Yeah. That's where left and right balls go. What? Okay. Okay. And then those are the locking mechanisms above you. The locking, locking mechanism. What? Ouch. Yeah. What's up with and that? it's so funny. And I, that type of shit make my stomach hurt. Yeah. Yo, so your dick's in a cage, a clamp. Like what? I'm, yeah, that hurt to think about for real. And then you put and then that it separates on it. them. Yeah, it separates. I listen. Whatever you I'm into, you I'm into. Not, you I'm, do not your on, thing. I'm not on the. Fa- I'm not on. On. I'm not for this. I'm just saying. Is have have we gone too far? Yeah. yeah well, um, I mean, like ten years ago. I'm still confused yeah. as People, to how does this help you? Well, you you you're you're good. You're not. You you don't say it like you're too like you know. Like yeah. no, I was like he you know. Just, you just say it all the time. Like, he he doing stories again. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like, so like you know. No no no. Yeah, what, I, wait, how does it? I think this might this says, be how, for dudes who have like you know problems with the other piece. So they're like, oh, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta look other way, other places. I mean, this honestly, uh, we went too far when dudes started letting other dudes like fuck their girlfriends, like they need a sub or something. You love cuck. Huh? No, no, no. You know you that. Know about you know, this? like how people you have know about the cuck world. Dude, Let yeah, him yeah, I hear that. I hear that word a lot. This is DC's never his favorite. Yeah. No, no, no. Thing. That, wait, 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 big difference. I just, we, I use the word cuck like innocuously to just relate right. to things that sometimes don't have to do with it. But I'm talking about Nico like dudes, scared. dudes that admit no, they're in an open. Living in white America. I've been looking like this the whole time. <laughs> Niggas like, why am I here? <laughs> Say something to justify why I'm here. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a great time so no, but like, yeah, you know, her dude is just like, yeah, I'm in an open relationship, and other dudes, oh. um, she does her thing. We talk about it. And you're just like, oh, okay. I, I, thought, I thought we went too far then, but that's Got not you. even too far for some people. I mean, that's not too far. Even that really? shit ain't. Even that what? shit ain't too far. It's just 
very, very weird. Like, I, it's it's so. weird because I can't even conceptualize how does that because I feel like it would really come. hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all yeah. I keep thinking about. Like even like I don't think there's in any way that that's actually feels good. Like I don't I don't believe there's anyone that's actually using that. Nah, so if there's a product, that means somebody using the shit. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's selling. somebody shit. It's it's somebody selling. tested. And another out. thing, did you Some, realize that's somebody how doing. expensive sex toys are when you're on the website? The yeah. shit is expensive. Because I've looked at them with my ex girlfriend and I was like, this why are they so well, somebody okay. somebody buying that yeah shit, somebody's bro. definitely buying that shit bro yo guys i think i'm allergic to being in relationships Ooh. oh yeah you just went through okay yo, by the way i will say explore this. that Can i explore say one thing me and dc uh, uh me, me and kevin we hung out the other night and he, we had a really Always fun night up ethnic people we had a really fun night <laughs> don't say and this part actually I, I know what you're about to say no no I was just, right, I, i'm just gonna say this you ever think you have too much uh, power in like your friends' relation, like your friends' relationships and your friends' lives? Because he goes, "Yo, I think like I gotta break up my girlfriend." I go, "Yeah, you should do it." And then he texts me later. The next thing I heard from him, he goes, "Yo, I'm single now." Nah, you, Yo, you're bro. a wild boy. Like, Yo, you ever just bro. say you something? spoke to Dylan before you did something well, like that? I'm gonna tell you why I spoke to Dylan. <laughs> he wanted me, <laughs> he wanted me he wanted someone to push him. No, no. What happened? This is, I was having an incredible night. C- incredible, mm-hmm. and. Every time I'm away from my current ex, she calls me and she goes, she starts complaining about life, about like our relationship. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, I was just with you for like five straight days. You had no complaints, right? right? She's a little needy, bro. But here's another thing. So we breaking up yesterday. And then she goes, <laughs> she goes, I just want to point yo, out. Yo, you got to see her again? Nah. All right. <laughs> nah, I don't have to if I don't need, if I don't want to. I feel you. So she goes, yeah, she's going to listen to this episode, but she's not going to make it past 20 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> Be careful putting shit on wax. We easy to fight. <laughs> I ain't worried. Really, I ain't worried. Yo, Nika's so professional. No, no, no. It's not about professionalism. I know what he means. A lot of people ain't worried. <laughs> 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 Tell me after. I'm about, I'm about I'll talk. So <laughs> Uncle Nico. So she <laughs> goes, Uncle Nico's a good nickname for him. But uh, <laughs> she goes, I just want to point out that you were in my place for 14 days. We only had sex three times. Ooh. Right? And I was like, in my head, I was like, I'm allergic to relationships, dog, because I'm always horny. Yeah. But the moment I got into a relationship, my sex drive went down. Yeah, it does that. Yeah, yeah. And, it ha- and I'm thinking about my other relationships. Mm-hmm. Every time, my sex drives go down. Part of course. And I'm like, is it because like I don't have that chase no more? Or is it because like... I just saw everything. I see everything. I see you all the time. I don't care. You anymore. know what's funny? A wise man once told me, "Ain't nothing like new pussy." Hey, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he's a good robot. When did Nico tell you? <laughs> that? <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this before. You know, it's uh, you know, it's one of those just one of those things. Hey, like, man, stop taking advice from the guys in your stupid. I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, friends. yeah. Kev, I, Kev, I told you, and this is what's funny. Going from uh, even the article, the article to this, bro. We're in a new age. We're in a new age of relationships. You allow to have four girlfriends. Whoa, you heard it here first. You heard him, right? Dylan J. Oh, Negri with a hot take. I don't think he's also 24. Yeah. I'm 30. I mean, I'm 31. Okay. And so, true. like, a part of me still is in that frame of mind where it's like, I want a monogamous relationship. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I should be in a monogamous yeah. relationship at this age. Mm-hmm. And all my heroes are married, they uh, mm-hmm. had that life. I don't think it works for me, though, bro. I think, I, I don't know. Like I said, my heroes are married. My heroes yeah. are Wasn't here. that something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need better heroes. Man. Oh, yeah, oh, so I was, oh I, my heroes man, are I'm, I'm sitting here going, God, yeah, yeah, damn, like I heroes? need to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? That's not even the first thing I think about my heroes, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, you don't see like the like everybody who I look up to, like when they started to get successful, they be, yeah. they were in monogamous relationships. Like really successful. That's so I can, funny. I you that. ain't the first person I heard say something yeah. similar to that. I can understand yeah, it. Like having that picture. I'll yeah. say mm-hmm. this the with stability. what he's saying is, uh, like I'm talking to someone right now. Like I'll say my partner, we're in an open relationship, so I'm allowed to be on the road, whatever, have fun, but it's all with a uh, communication, right? The, the having that rock who can help me send emails out to even places, help me keep track of scheduling. Yeah. There is something to that. I haven't heard that until right now, but there is something to like noticing. 
someone with a lot of success going, oh, no, I came up with this person was my this rock. This nigga this said, I don't want a girlfriend. Rock. I want an I want assistant. assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that too, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yo. I, 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 this nigga I, just finessed her, bro. Hey, shit, I wasn't, I wasn't everyone wants an assistant you can fuck. Hey, no, legit, you gotta say Nico, legit, keeps... legit, I was gonna sit here and be like, you can hire one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, hey, Nico, like, Nico. Nico. He just taught you, like, sometimes bro. you could paint him with dick. Like, this bro. Nigga. Yeah, I guess. Bro. Nico, if you, if you hire a Q assistant, you're paying her. You're going to want to fuck her one this day. Nigga. You might want to fuck her. This nigga with full Jewish. I'm right doing now. the opposite. I'm just fucking my assistant. <laughs> For free, for free. Just, <laughs> and even think, convinced bro? her, even left open options in the contract. No, I'm joking. I, thought, I, thought, <laughs> no, now, God listen. forbid. Like I, I was gonna her. say, God forbid, shit goes go left. Then, then you lost your assistant, or you gonna start paying her? Nah, I get a new assistant. Or does she have like, <laughs> or, or or does she have access to your emails to ruin your life in the future? Bro, there's nothing to ruin. There's no yeah. future. Yeah. Damn, these guys. Yeah, I think damn. that's about your time, bro. God, <laughs> damn. That nigga said, it ain't no future. Get me out of here. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga no, said, it ain't no future. For, for the most, no, listen. For the most part, it's, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, it's all fun. Like, I love that's my girlfriend. So yeah. at the end of the day, that's someone who is, if I'm, it, it's our life. If like the apartment, things are getting spent, things are getting paid for. How how do you how do I make money? This is how I make money. So it's like I feel you, I that feel understanding you. of having a girlfriend. I mean, said to you, where you're out until three in the morning doing all. You didn't do a spot. You didn't do anything. You just mm -hmm. hung out and drank and smoked weed. Girl, a, a, a girlfriend that doesn't understand that and kind of makes your life harder because of that. Like it's weird to explain that. Like I know you've been doing comedy since you were very young. Like mm -hmm. at what point did you were going through? Were you going through relationships? Like oh no, there's no women don't understand what I'm doing. Oh, no, it wasn't as much that as much as it was like I started this before I, you know, mm -hmm. started relationships. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it wasn't hard for me to create a hierarchy for what mattered most to me. Right. Where problems would come up is, you know, time and available Absolutely. time yeah. where I'm spending my time. Yeah. You know? 100%. That, but now, mind you, that's something that I could control. So depending on the seriousness of certain relationships, I take time while I wouldn't. But mm -hmm. but that's was, what I'm saying is when you have that like when you're doing that time and they're involved in your life and it's almost like they're invested in you. Mm -hmm. This is also a part of their life. Having that partner, it's less of like oh I was out until drink until three in the morning. It was like oh no I was out showing face until three in the morning. And, and, chicks and, chicks and they understand energy, that. Bro. They understand. Oh. They're like oh this is for the greater goal of the relationship. True. And for the and, record though. <laughs> Drinking and shit till three in the morning ain't showing face. <laughs> <laughs> so three in the morning, those are a very different thing. Yeah, no, yeah. but like I mean, more like if you're oh, out like going to, like from one. spot to spot. Like no, I, I, I know, mean, I know. Well, I had I had a uh, older comic one time tell me he's like, listen, when you're done with whatever you're doing at the end of the night, the stand, the cellar, whatever it is, mm -hmm. end your night there. Mm -hmm. That's it. All you yeah. do is end your night there. Show face. He doesn't believe in Te this. Teaches, I believe in showing face, but teach his own. You know, but no, no, of course, Depending everyone has their route. No one makes it the same way. Own, you know, I feel, own. I feel like if we went around in a circle and I asked y'all what showing face actually means, I get a bunch of wrong answers. Like that month. <laughs> Girl, we should. Do that. Everyone has their that. own reason though, their own way. We should do that. We should do. That. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we'll what start. We'll start you, DC. All right, bet, bet. Um, showing face to me doesn't necessarily mean ending your night hanging out at any. You know, blase blase place just because oh, they do comedy there. You stand, you might see this person, talk to this person, mm -hmm. and let them convince you to buy way too many drinks till 3 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I would show and face to me is if there's a show, you know, that, that I want to see, I go there, I see the show, I talk to the people that I want to talk to, XYZ, and then I'm out by like 10, 11 because I feel like I complete what I need to do. I don't just need to hang around. Time is, you know, valuable. Kevin, and, what Kevin, do you think show and face means? Bro, you know, I hate to hang. Mm -hmm. I don't like to hang unless I'm on the show, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Recently, I'm trying to come around to because I feel like everyone's telling me you got to start hanging out. People don't know who you. People who should know who I am don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. So I'm hanging out. I'm going to support people's shows. Right. I'm drinking with them, smoking with them. <coughs> I'm inviting them to my podcast. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Same answer. Literally, you got to go where you're not booked, but at the same time, places you are booked, talk to managers, show your face, like, you know, make friends with waitresses. You know, you're, you're going to be at a, a club <laughs> for so years and you want people on your side to where and you finally get that audition, you finally get that spot. They go, you know, I'm actually fighting for this person. Do it for the right reasons. Show up to the club, you know, be be a fan of comedy. And I, I think out of uh, all, all that, again, just showing faces, going places where even if you don't want to go out that night, yours, going to to your friend's like, show or whatever, yeah. hanging out is more important than anything. All right. So, um, now someone who's actually 
No, just, 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 just let, let you, you know how you know how sometimes you'll do a thing and it's like multiple things could be right at once, right? Mm-hmm. Duality always exists. Mm-hmm. I feel like you said a lot of things that are right, you know what I'm saying, for each of you, right? That you mm-hmm. can take you can hold. But you can control what you do when you at a place, right? right? So when you out and you showing face, you don't gotta go on a night when your friend's having a show, that's probably a bad night to go. Because if your friend ain't in a position where if they ain't in a position in the club that you wanna be in, then all you're doing is becoming guilty by association. You have an opportunity to be in the way, mm-hmm. yeah. right? There's a way to go and be at a spot and do the parts of everything that you just said mm-hmm. and be effective, right? What that means for you, that's where it becomes subjective, right? But just going out and think you have a drink, you don't have to buy one thing at mm-hmm. any place ever. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. But just hear me out. You don't got to buy one thing any place ever. You don't got to go and spend an hour. You can get that in five minutes if you do it right. Yeah. Meaning there's a way to execute, right? Mm-hmm. You don't got to be there all night. It's a big scene. You can set up your night. You can set up your night by, all right, from, I got a show at 10. From 7 to 9, I'm going to hang out at this six spaces. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. when you hang out, go. I ain't going to give away too much free game because we got enough. We got too many people just starting comedy. But... <laughs> Go out and be effective. So right. then you ain't just hanging. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You're working. That's building a part awareness of work. to something. But yeah. that's different than being a customer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's and if you're going to be a fan of comedy, there's a way to do that too. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when you go to a show and you want to hang out at a club, watch a show, all that, yeah, that's always still cool. You know what I mean? But if you're going out with a goal, there's a way to go out with a goal that's not draining. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like even hearing you say, oh, I hate hanging out. Nigga, no, you don't. <laughs> Everything you just described is then when you go to a place, you meet people and then you invite them to hang out. What do you mean you hate hanging out? I hate, okay, you're right. He's talking about the comic hang. Yeah, again, you have this warped idea of what that actually <laughs> is. Nico. A lot of people Uncle do. A lot of people Nico. do, though. Not even. I'm just a real comedian, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like, again, like you said, I've been out here for a long time. Of course. Like, yeah. I was a kid, so I understand like those feelings of like, oh, I hate hanging out. No, yeah. you don't. Mm. You ain't comfortable yet in the places yeah. you're going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And That's you really what it is. I'm uncomfortable. You don't have to be uncomfortable. Just yeah. get to know the people. It's like going to school, right? Go to different school. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Just go be. Yeah, it's like that silly shit he was saying earlier of like you know his he saw me with a group of friends and didn't want to come over. Nah, just go over. Mm. Talk. If you piss somebody off, you piss them off. If you don't, you probably won't. You mm-hmm. won't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go break the ice. That's it. Yeah. That's some real shit, son. Your advice yeah. from Nico mm-hmm. White. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Disgust. I mean, that's what I did. So I met him. You know, I just hit him. But I also I had guilt on. I'd be like, "What's up, black man?" And then. <laughs> 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 they feel pressure to respond. <laughs> this is, you know what I mean? You got, yes, you got, we do that as well. knows it's in. DC knows how to get in. <laughs> I mean, on that note, let's get into some plugs. That's hilarious. I mean, Nico, I hope you know, we, uh, uh, the, the knowledge is appreciated. I know actually, there actually is a lot of people, whether in New Jersey and all over the country, that are younger comics that mm-hmm. I know listen to this, whether they're, they're Gas Digital oh, fans and stuff. So I hope you know what you're saying also isn't just going from this table. Yeah. It's going through the speaker system. It's going to everyone who's listening. So that's also really cool. Okay, for you to well, be word doing, man. then be happier. Mm. That too. <laughs> that too. Bro, he's I big on that. Shit. He's big on that. There's a lot of comedy. I be meeting yeah. young comedians that yeah. are miserable. Yeah. Nah, bro, you gotta Kill be happy. Yourself. You gotta be enjoying. But a lot of you know what it is too. A lot of people think they have to take on this um, identity of like cynicism to be Stop a comic that. and all that Stop type of shit. That. Like, people that have that. People already, perceive it like that. We already have the cynics. We don't need any more cynics. We need more imagination. Stop being weird. Yeah, yeah. Stop being weird. And stop sucking. If you could please stop sucking. And if I can get you, motherfucker, maybe we can start with the young people. Can we please stop? This prejudice way comedy being booked, please. Oh, what you mean? What they, what oh shit, yo, you black and Hispanic. Y'all yeah. ain't know this. This weird like maximum of black. <laughs> I, it's oh, so the quota? I, I think, that. I think the about that. I think about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, I think about that this shit needs to stop. Yeah. I, I, Nico, I agree. As a straight white guy, it's really hard to get booked out here. <laughs> I, I mean, agree, Nico. The way is, that people book funny. is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> like, no, but again, like, real shit need to be said. Yeah, like, yeah, if you're yeah. a white dude and you ain't getting booked, you probably yeah. ain't funny or you ain't yeah. got too many friends, right? Yeah. But there's still systems in place. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, oh, no, you, I got stage time. But, yeah, uh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I don't even want to put that out there to the people that are starting. Like, no, there's nothing but jobs for you if you're a straight <laughs> white dude. Like, you are all right. <laughs> no. It's still a very very much a scene for you trust me but this is the plug music guys uh nico tell me where to find you hey if you enjoy me you can find me on instagram at nico white 93 that's at n-e-k-o-w-h-i-t-e-9-3 check my website nico hyphen white dot 
com. And I have projects out there you need to go watch. The first one being Netflix's Pete Davidson presents The Best Friends. After that, watch Nico White Dark Out. Go listen to Nico White, Marcellus, M-A-R-S-C-E-L-L-U-S. Go watch my first special, Nico White Introducing Me. And then in the meantime, in between time, y'all keep supporting this podcast. Thank y'all for having me. Appreciate it, man. DC Williams. Um, follow me on Instagram at DC Does It. Um, also, Mungo and Oxtail, second and last Friday of every month. Um, Uptown, Chagall Cafe, 145th, and St. Nicholas. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more uh, stuff from Doped Up and Dying. We got uh, Comedy Club coming in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. We're going to be running some shows out of there. So come fuck with us. Um, and it's going to be great, man. Everybody's going to do their thing. Kev Sanchez. It's, uh, it's Kev Sanchez on Instagram, Eastside. Twitter. Eastside. <laughs> <laughs> Eastside Cap Sanchez. Eastside Cap Sanchez. Eastside and Harlem. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Mongul and Oxel, like he said, on 145th. Uh, and then we got Greenpoint, 66 Greenpoint, Doped Up Comedy Club. You already know what time it is. Dylan? Guys, follow me at Dylan J. Negri if you're not already following this podcast on Instagram, Doped Up Comedy. We're almost at 1K. Uh, guys, thank you so much for passing us 2K on YouTube. Uh, th- thank you, Panji. Thank you, everyone, uh, all the new subscribers, all the new fans. 2K, that's awesome. Uh, a lot of fun things coming up, a lot of things in New York coming up. If you're in New York, Philadelphia area, guys, August 6th, Doped Up Comedy Club. It's a party. It's a vibe. Comedy show, after party. Comedy shows every Friday and Saturday starting August 6th, Bring guys. Your August 6th is the grand opening. Come Bring hang out. Family. We just went over there yesterday. A big meeting, big stuff, big things happening. If you want to see me on the road, if you want to see me do stand up, go to my website, dylancomedy.com. I'll be doing stuff. Just made a, made a friend who's um, a, a new cast member on Jackass. So um, hey. may, maybe, maybe see me do a show with uh, that special lady soon. But uh, guys, let's get back into <laughs> the show. Dope, up and dying. Um, since we were talking about uh, comedy. <clears throat> I just wanted to say, you quit. I watched. Not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. You know, I'm like seven years in. I'm like, hey, might as might as well keep going. What else are you gonna do? Damn um, it. So I watched the Pete Davidson Best Friends. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw I saw your set, mm-hmm. and um, I also I also saw you do it at Mongo and Oxtail. It was great, great both times. I laughed at it again. Thank you. And honestly, one of the more fire sets out of the whole presentation. I was like, I was like. It was good, bro. It was good. Solid shit, bro. Thank it was you, good man. for you, man. I appreciate that. Shit that was, I like it. When he came when he came to Mongol and Oxtail and lit. Yeah, that he really shit did. He did. Was I was mad about the that. Filming or right? after? Yeah. <laughs> it, no, no, he filmed already. Yeah, yeah. But it, it didn't come out yet, right? It was like No, you, we recorded in um when we when we did Oxtail. Uh that was June. I was like late June. June. Yeah, yeah we June. recorded in we recorded in April. Yep. In yeah. April. But it didn't come out till no. it didn't come out till June. It came out June 13th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yo, Not, bro. About the same time, man. Yeah. Dog, that shit was fire, bro. It was good, hey, bro. Was that was a like, dope room y'all got pop. too. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, dope room y'all got. I love Make sure that little kill box, right? Yeah, man. You get in it. You know what's nice about it is that it's like a little like it's a little hole in the wall, You know what I'm saying? It almost feel like it should be a secret. You know what I mean? It's a cool vibe. So if you ever get a chance, check it out. You really, really should. Thank you. Man. It's also Appreciate a lot of fun because I know uh, their mentality of like just longer sets, giving comedians time. Like yeah, they're the only comedians all, in the city. I think I think that get mad if you got off stage early. They're like, no, yeah, I yeah. gave you twelve minutes. Yeah, fifteen, dude. Yeah, that's a long Do time, fifteen dude. minutes. Do fifteen. That, I'm trying to. I want people to be able to build real material. You can't yeah. always do it. And just doing five minutes here and there. You come and go to Brooklyn to do a show and get five. Like you want. I'm just trying to give space to bring. Oh, also, comedians are late, a, so I want you to stay up this there. This is a until, comedy jam city. Too, yeah, man. exactly. Yeah. And also, one time I was um, at comedy in Harlem, mm-hmm. and I was doing. Uh, Smokey had his night there, mm-hmm. and I think it was like a Monday or Tuesday night. And um, Monday. he, I was, yeah, yeah. He would, he would, he like, he puts you up and just walks away. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he just walks away. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you don't know Mocha Lounge. What, yeah. You talking about? No, no, Comedy Harlem. The one oh, right okay. there at the club. Yeah. Oh, that happened to me. But he's probably been doing that for a long time. I'm sure you've seen him for yeah. So he would yeah, do that walk and he stay up there. And at one time, um, I was going and I didn't, I didn't see the light and. I kept going and wasn't necessarily killing. I kept going and then he just turned the light off. <laughs> 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 oh, I love those was, Yeah, bro. And I was like, wow, that was a real stories. copy moment that just happened. <laughs> and I feel like you don't really get shit like that downtown. So like, you know what I mean? It's just like, He's just up there like, bro, do your thing till I tell you to get off. You know what I mean? And yeah. I try to yeah. have that same thing with comics, bro. Do 10, 12, bro. Keep going till, because comics might be late. He might actually be late, so stay on. Yeah. And then sometimes you find out, comics are like, yo, please light me at six. 
Yeah. Because I'm like, yep. what? Nico, when you were young, did anyone ever give you like too much time than you could have? Oh, you yeah. Could have um, there was one time, Um, this is Laugh Lounge, right? So, and God, I missed that place. So, it's Never spot even right heard of it. Where's Laugh Lounge? Yeah. I didn't know. Um, R.I.P. used to be 151 yeah. Essex Street. I think and, um, it spent time as like a taco shop and all that shit like, yeah. afterwards. But it was a it was an urban club, yeah. right? God urban knows downtown. you don't have any of those left. Yeah. So... <laughs> Oh, actually, no, I'm He's lying. Home, check yeah. out uh, Comedy in Harlem, yeah. baby. And Harlem. check out Omar Thompson's spot. God damn it. Awesome yeah. in Harlem. Yep. Fucking right. Yep. So, it's, it's, and it's coming. Yeah, it's, it's coming. And it's going to be more. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. I like and that. And so, anyway, I'm at, I'm at Laugh Lounge. Delilah gives me some time. Donnell, used, Donnell Rollins used to have a show on Monday called Mashup Mondays, right? So, he wasn't there that Monday. A guy by the name of Grant Cooper was hosting, mm-hmm. right? Big Afro. I don't know if you guys know Josh Johnson, but he kind of yes. looks like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like an older Josh Johnson, but with hair out. Right? <laughs> okay. So Grant's hosting, and I'm. <laughs> they give me a spot, right? So I'm thinking that I'm just going to do. How like, old are you at the time? Uh, probably like 15. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to do maybe 10 minutes, right? So I do. I do my minutes, right? So I had to think of. I was, you know, trying like the new jokes and shit. So. I get through my set, I notice the light still ain't on, and I don't see the host, right? <laughs> I get off stage, I go to where my notebook is in the back, in my book bag. I get my notebook, <laughs> I come back on stage with the shit here with my topics Wait, written you, on Wait, you left the stage? You I left the, the stage. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so Laugh Lounge used to have- So there's a moment where they're just waiting a, for you to come back. There's a moment where I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> So, because it's like, what it yeah. is, they cheer, nothing, no response. I, well, the, the crowd, I forget what the crowd did. This is years ago, but I think it was like a, like an initial, like a ha ha. It was like, oh, that nigga they really was. Oh, he's really doing it. Yeah. So, so th- my book bag, because there, was, there used to be an open mic that happened at five. So, Pudge Fernandez used to run an open mic at five. Donnell's show was at, um, it was the first open mic, then the second one at seven. Then Donnell show at like nine nine thirty. So my book bag was already in the green room. The green room's right there through the little gymnasium door. So I do it quick. I run off, grab my bag. It wasn't wasn't fifteen. It wasn't twenty seconds, right? Okay. Run off, grab my bag, get my book. I go on stage. I start doing my jokes in the topic order as they're ticked down in my notebook, right? So I finish the set. Grant comes over. And he was like, uh, you know, why'd you get up? I was like, well, shit, I needed to go get my jokes. <laughs> like, I, got, I, I, got I was the, out. I got the jokes, but it's like, I'd run out, right? This is, you're a year in. <laughs> you know out. what I'm saying? Yeah, you're a year in. Like, like it's hard. After 10 minutes, a year, a year in? That's... <laughs> a year a year or two, but it was like, I ch- I wasn't expecting to do that long. Yeah. When they told yeah. me I was going up, I didn't think I was doing like a whole set. I didn't think I was doing a whole 15. So yeah. I had like a... Probably like eight prepared. This is why I blow the light. That's hilarious. Yeah. So I'm always so, prepared all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got material, nigga. Uh, 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 Kevin has. Kevin doesn't no, know what a light is. That no, happened. Joking, I don't blow the light like that. But I, 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 uh, early in comedy, <laughs> this guy randomly uh, threw a fundraiser because he broke his nose in a car accident. <laughs> I, had a, I didn't know he was a com- I didn't know, bro. Because you know how comedy, the, the entry bar is fucking, it's community college, bro. Yeah, or, yeah. or, or, you know what I mean? So That's why I, we need certification. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this shit, like, you'll be out somewhere, and I just put it before somewhere in Lower East, an old man hustler or something, just talking to him. <laughs> we do, though. but and, and he was just talking to me, and he had a broken ass nose. And I was like, oh, so you a comic? A broken nose in a suit. Look, said, no, look, always looks crazy, I'm bro. Booker, I'm a booker of Brooklyn. No, Brooklyn he was just like, yeah, it's through comedy, but I'm just doing a fundraiser. I'm doing a show i was like okay you do comedy show, whatever i'm just i'm like a year and a half maybe in bro you know what i mean yeah. and that and this dude so i end up going to a bar and performing that night he was just he was like yo dude just do 15 minutes and in a bar bro <laughs> where i haven't been doing comedy no that way. long probably have two and a half minutes of material bro yeah and was just going and going you know i guess people were laughing at shit going yeah. and going and then it was just shit was just Bro, the 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 laps between laughs, bro. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, chuckles, yeah, not even like just was, straight up, like just regular chuckles, bro. It was like, people oh was my like, god, oh shit, I forgot you were up there, son. Bro, I'm pacing around. I know I was looking down. I look at old videos of myself. I'm just, I'm yeah. looking at the floor and Oof. shit. Are you telling jokes straight to the floor? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm in a bar, right? and I don't even know really how to get people to turn around. Like, yeah. I, right. it was weird. I was like, is bro, this comedy? You one know what time I mean? is this comedy? Yeah. I was so. 
And he paid me. And he I was paid afraid, you? Yeah, he paid me like $15. Fresh Prince, of, of, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That, that, is that why you're like this? You did that set, got paid for it, and you that's what made you like nah, this? Nah, bro. It was so weird, bro. It was the weird. I, it made me th I was like, this is because I came in a comedy. Did anyone kill that night? I don't, I don't know. There was some guy that got banned from Laughing Buddha for pulling his dick out and some random, like, it was just madness. Laughing it wasn't the, the, yeah, right? the comedy that, because like, like, like most ethnic kind of feel like they're expected some degree of deaf comedy jam, especially like, you know what I mean? And it really wasn't the vibe starting out in like downtown New York or whatever. It was just what like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Deaf the, a vibe. I said the vibe. I feel the vibe Where of comedy. I was I was in I was in some hipster ass part of Brooklyn. Why do you think they would expect Def Comedy Jam? No, what me, 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 me. You, oh, you I expected do. that. The energy of the show. It's oh, not like oh, that. I see it's what you're like saying. I see what you're identity. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. comedy was very. I started in November 2015, which was like you know there was identity ideologies, all this shit going on, and that was not what I was expecting, bro. Like I, if you watch, like I watched Bernie Mac and Cat Williams and shit like that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That I was thought was funny. So goats. Yeah, goats. Goat. Exactly. So and DC's, but then when DC's I was hitting lines going. Like, where's the DJ? You I'm just, yeah, the DJ. people are being weird about you. Say, like, Man, I remember I made a, hey, a really be careful talking about Bernie. How you <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm saying that, but it was just like it wasn't what I, you I know thought it was gonna be. You so know what I mean? The reason why I asked if anybody kicked because I remember one, you, I did a bar show, same scenario. Like, black comedy is not weird, is what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not that exactly. What so, do you it's, mean? It's, oh, it's, of course, it's not, it's not weird. That, it's but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and what, when I was getting into comedy, oh, it was weird. It was okay. weird, bro. It's a bunch of weirdos around you. Yes, bro. It's a bunch of niggas like, oh, so I don't fuck. Yeah, uh, a lot of you people know what I mean? Get, like, what, yeah, for some bro. reason, never get pussy, but yeah, it's yeah. just like you're just like, all right, is this comedy? Like, I just not what I, you know, this is not the type of shit that I used to hate. If you watch, you know, dudes like um like Capone or some shit, you know what I mean? Like dudes mm -hmm. that just made you Conf laugh because they were, confidence, yeah, yeah exactly, energy, exactly. Yeah, I, I can't exactly. Not exactly. Confident think, believe in yourself, that that type of shit, you know. I hate what you mean. Yeah, yeah it's just hundred percent self deprecating. Like I'm right. working. It's just like all right. Like, I mean, the first year of comedy, I think I wore sweats for like six months. Oh, you did. You wear navy blue sweats all the time, gray sweats. Yeah. Because I was like, I was, I dressed, because I was like, everybody dressed weird, and, and should I dress weird? Should I People, dress disgusting? Bro, oh my God. And it was okay. something I had Actually, to get over. Okay. It was Actually, something I, I had I, to get I don't over. Think I ever, no, I don't, it's not, it's not a bad thing. I don't think thing. I ever told either no, of you I thought this. it was a bad thing. Yeah. I don't think I ever yeah. told either of you this. Because I, I started doing comedy like them. Right, bro. Yeah. right, and dorky, I'm like, like but dorky, dorky shit. Yeah. Like I don't get, but I get pussy. Yeah. Like right. I don't need to pretend I don't get right, pussy. Right, 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 right. That was right. hard to get over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the crazy part is, people might think that never happens. Mm -hmm. what, what, you, what you just said, you being a cool guy that actually yeah. gets laid, you, they would never think. Oh that yeah, you would be doing this, thinking to yourself, I got to say that I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. I gotta, I gotta make myself sound yeah. less cool. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. would never think that you felt the need to do oh, that. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. People like just they do would it in never, comedy. Yeah. They would never think that. Yeah. They would never even consider yeah, that. Yeah, they would just believe it. Yeah, Yo, that's it. When I first oh, moved here to do comedy, I, this is so dorky. I went to Drake J. Crew and bought four different color of like long sleeves. Of like <laughs> little like Cotton yeah. like long sleeves, just being, be like, plain being like, oh, I'm not gonna be like the hoodie comedian. Yeah, I'm not gonna like, try, I'm not trying to go. There, That's be not cool. crazy at all. I'm man. gonna go. I'm yeah. just gonna put on Vans and a long sleeve. And over That's and wild. Yeah. yeah, that makes perfect I, I, so sense. I never though. told. I, I went to J Crew and was like. I'm going to get a red one, yeah. going to get a mm -hmm. gray one, going to get a black and one. That's and that's what I'm saying when I said a deaf comic. First of all, I come from immigrant Jamaican parents. So mm -hmm. looking unpresentable is not even like you can't right. do that. Looking at home. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and exactly. I know, and There's no such thing as looking yeah, unpresentable, so, bro. <laughs> even, even when you do, like even when you, you do, you better, be, you better be right, though. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You got to be sore. Yeah. Sore. yeah. The shit that's like, I, I swear to God. This fuss shit on my face, I was damn near about to not come here. <laughs> on, on my always mother, got a tight bro, like, though. On my mother, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was about to hit up my barber and be like, bro, yo, you went, around, but it, it was too, had it too was many too people. Close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was too close. Yeah. So and that's that's just what I meant when I said that. Cause you everyone gets it and they feel like, oh, I have to take on this identity where I'm like I'm a loser. Like, yeah, a loser outsider that's just, you know, like, you know, class clown is just like that wasn't the energy I was expecting because these motherfuckers right. were dressed to the team just still killing. It. They're just being funny, doing right. what they but do. See, like being funny and also like even to the nerd shit or whatever, yeah, yeah. like being the loser. Yeah. You even had some of those that were hilarious. Yeah, of course. You but being really them. Ex exact. And that's what I so if yeah. I, I feel like so when I went to Comedy Hall, I was like, oh, this whole vibe is different. This is what I was expecting seven years ago when I started. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's right. what I was used to roasting each other, going to put, you know, back of the bus shit, lunch mm -hmm. table shit. That's just what I was used to, but it really Fun wasn't. Camaraderie. Exactly. And when I went there, I was like, oh, if you say something about someone jokingly. 
they might get offended. Like I remember just I said in passing, just a casual joke. I got on stage, some dude had nail polish on, like mm-hmm. wearing a dress, got off stage. And I was just like, um, I just it was literally almost a street joke. I was like, um, it, it's crazy how when men transition uh to women in, in comedy, they lose their sense of humor or whatever. <laughs> just you know what I'm saying? Like pretty basic, bro. Yeah, wasn't yeah. you know what I mean? Not and then it. apparently he was like upset about it was out there and when i got off stage was walking out he was talking to some dude i heard him talking about he's like and he was like saying this and i was like yo bro like we cool like you know like i was just joking right it's not that and he's like yeah whatever whatever i guess that was his demeanor or whatever and i was just like i was like all right bro like you know what i mean well if they they said it to you that make them real a little bit yeah Yeah. no he didn't say it to me he said he was out there talking to some guy about it and i was Ah. just like yo i was like you know i was just like i was just joking bro like just talking shit and he but he was just like on some like you don't take my identity seriously or whatever oh. it is. I'm just like... It's like, I don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I don't take but it serious. The, you know what I mean? Not because like, I don't respect it. I just, yeah. I just, everything is funny to you. But I'm just used to any degree. Like, if I get off stage and someone's kind of like roasting me or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just fun. like, it's whatever. I don't really care that much. As long as you don't try, try to be disrespectful. But if you're just saying something in passing... About the way I look, whatever I what do, you, you know? what you saying is that you meant it all in good fun. You yeah, to that's offend. really that's just and we're at an open mic, and I think sometimes again, you know, being you close to the the darker yes, side sir. of the yes, color sir. chart, I'm out here. It's one of those things where it's like you know, when we say shit, it's like it got needles at the end mm, of it. Sometimes, okay. yeah, you know I'm saying yeah, motherfuckers yeah. be they, yeah more sensitive when we say anything. You know, I, I, I can see a, that. I, I have a that. flat tone. Yeah, but I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, Nico. Sure. I feel the exact same way when I'm on stage. I'm six three. I'm abrasive. I like, like, uh, can you actually pull up the video, you Natalie, where says awful Yankees know. fan? Like, um, like, trust me, I feel the same way where I'm like, maybe working out a bit or like mm-hmm. trying to even like talk shit a little bit on stage. It, right. I have to be so careful because you said it's like, oh, sar- sarcasm's hard for him because it always with my face is very punchable. Yeah. It, it's always gonna come off as like a little bit of needles on the end. So I'm saying when Fair. you say it's about race and everything, like I agree, but also I'm on the other well, side of the table thinking I, the same exact thing. I guess I should clarify. I meant more of like you know, yeah, yeah. I guess it is about race, but I, I that's not where. No, I'm, no, I'm just, I, I think what he's saying, being like a straight white male, that like mm-hmm. if you're doing type of comedy where you're talking about people and they happen to be ethnic or women, mm-hmm. anything, yeah, the crowd has a hard time getting on board with it because they feel well, that's, uncomfortable. That's, you know what but mean? that's because two things are happening yeah. though, like your apprehension to say it and them hearing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times we be overthinking. And yeah. what I'm even saying now about him being darker skin might not have nothing to do with it. We could find a person, they might be like, nah, that wasn't the case. That's not like nobody talking about my shit. Yeah, yeah. But I know because in my experience, I'm flat toned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I'm not, when unless I don't want to be, I'm flat toned. Mm-hmm. I'm not particularly, you know, smiling yeah. all the time. And, you know, sometimes there's aggression associated mm-hmm. with. You know what I'm saying? Flat you tone. say things with a straight yeah. face, kind of, kind of deadpan. But there's also white people who do that too, and they probably don't feel like they're like, "Oh, he's but, so funny." But, but right. But yeah. just meaning like there's a certain sensitivity, to right, that right, shit, right. As yeah, opposed I feel to you, yeah. like that thing you described. Like, yeah. don't even think about that shit. Just do, no, yeah. but, do uh, the joke. What, no, no, I agree. But what I also was gonna say is like, I know you know Mon- Monroe Martin. He, yeah, yeah, he yeah. taught me. He goes. There's a dude I kept meeting. He now he go, he go, dude, nice to meet you. And he go, dude, this is like the seventh time you've done this. Yeah. And I turned to Monroe and go, bro, I feel bad. He goes, no, nah, that's for him to deal with. Make yeah. be more memorable. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. Like, it's also funny where it's like that guy right there who's mad about, you know, has mm-hmm. nail polish. It's like, nah, dude. To like, be fair though, I did, I did also say that comics always come on stage talking about they identify as bi, they identify as this, but they never identify as funny. I did say that, and that <laughs> was probably that was probably rude. And that was probably a little rude. Okay, and, so do you lose <laughs> <it> rude? <laughs> was a DC rude. before. So, so, why, why, so why, where was this information? Need, all right, so yo, DC ain't shit. Man. Because yo, it ain't need, we ain't need none of the philosophy. I, I, no, we ain't need none of it. You was just rude. You, you, you asked your own question. Oh no, so you just an asshole. Homie was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't black, white, or anything. That was just an asshole. I forgot I definitely said that, bro. I definitely look, also look, said look, that. Look, look, yo, it wasn't about race. DC was just an asshole. the worst defendant in court ever. Yo, the case was almost over. The case was almost over. This nigga almost won. Yo, yo. And this is why that cross examination is long. Yo, this is why it's long. Because you, you can get nigga, him to say if something. If you were smart, you'd be dangerous. <laughs> Oh my nigga, you was out of here, bro. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. Uh, You right though, (laughs) bailiff. The lawyer started like closing his binder. (laughs) 
<laughs> Don't say nothing without an attorney present. <laughs> he's clipping his briefcase closed as he's leaving. DC was like, yo, wait, you f- I forgot one thing. Yeah, Don't stop said, nigga, and dying. <laughs> yeah. This nigga is out of this. You <laughs> going to death row, yo, son. Yo, yo, oh this nigga throwing out Tupac this time, <laughs> motherfuckers. Talk about why they got mad. First off, <laughs> <laughs> fuck your gender and that shit you claim. <laughs> is wrong with you? Yo, yo they should have punched you. Oh my God. They should have jumped you at yo, Laughing Buddha, they dog. They should have punched you for even fucking with oh them like God, that. Bro. Wow. Leave people fuck your alone. gender and that wow. click you facts, claim. Facts. Yo, oh my God. That's yo, a you fuck your gender and that dick you claim. Yo, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. That Straight person side. Wasn't, person <laughs> wasn't even bothering you, man. <laughs> Motherfucker, my, was this an open mic? Yeah. yeah you niggas, mic. you really didn't have no reason to do this to him. You motherfuckers. Yo, by the way, also, you're doing crowd work at an open mic. Go fuck yourself, dude. I, I, I ain't, yo, for once, I ain't gonna disagree. <laughs> yo, leave people alone. And doing crowd work at an open yo, mic. Yo, please be nicer to each other at the at the like where, wherever y'all are in the comedy scene. Please be nicer to young, each other. Bro, I was a little younger. I just, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't know how to be edgy without trying. You know what I mean? Without, without fucking a, without you know, being an asshole. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, or whatever. But that's know? another thing yeah. that gotta stop too. Cause I feel like a lot of people try to be edgy. Yeah, just, yeah. just, just be, be funny. Just, but, just be. Yeah, you know right. I'm saying. Cause what you talking about is more like a you know young comedian like you know going through the motions kind of mistake. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's all in fun. Y'all will meet again and it'll be water under the bridge. But, but, in my head, like this, so in my head, totally like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrice O'Neill would say this or something. You, yeah. Patrice <laughs> that's, that's will probably dumb. hate you. <laughs> yeah, like, like, he would. Stop. I don't even. I don't even. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I'm not like the crazy Patrice guy. Patrice is great, but I'm just saying in my head, I'm like. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is this is, and this is partly narcissism too. I'm like, yeah, this room needs this kind of energy right no, now. No, <laughs> just be you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Please so, just be you. Nah, yeah. they need love and kindness, DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People just need to be left alone. Yeah, for the that's most two part. facts. That's a fact. Motherfuckers fact. sit need back to be left and think. Alone. Again, I'm from Harlem. You sit back and think like, yo, why, why are you fucking with my day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, I ain't have nothing to do. I ain't have nothing to do with that bullshit that you was fact. on while you was up there. I, yo, I remember being a young comic at the open mics and the motherfucker pointing out to me and being, and I'm like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. Don't make me a party because yeah, he, he was, it was it wasn't going good. So like, don't make me a part Especially of that shit. Don't, don't include me. Leave in this. people alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I ain't even talking to you, but like, I know what you know. I know what you mean. Bro. You Leave sounded... motherfuckers alone. Y'all all in this together. Yo, well, Nico, uh, yo, man, thanks for joining us. Thank you so man, much for jo- no, thank coming y'all, on the podcast. Man, don't tell me, don't tell me we done already. I got, I got to do a show in Tiny Cover. We started late, and I got to be there like now. I'm, I'm Y'all can keep going. I'll leave. All right, that sounds good. No, <laughs> Stop, no. Uh, we'll we did the plugs and all that already. Yeah, right? we did. We plug you. Yeah, yeah, plug in the middle. You know, make, yeah. make sure people all see. But Nico, right. tell them one more time where they can find you. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Nico White ninety three at N E K O W H I T E nine three. I have product out that you should go check out. Ooh. Nico White Dark out. Nico White Marcellus. Nico White introducing me. Watch Pete Davidson presents the best friends yes, on Netflix. Check out my Let's work go. in general. I'm here for you. Yo, Nico, Let's I hope it, to man. have you on again, my yeah, bro. Absolutely. Let me know. In the Let's future, when we're more successful and shit, bro. You don't got to be more I'm successful to talk to me. You, I'm, I'm here you. now, unfortunately. <laughs> Natalie, <laughs> Natalie yeah, get me that. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, cut the mic. Natalie, <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut the <laughs> mic. <laughs> Natalie, Sunday, Sunday morning smoke show. Guys, thanks for joining us. Get me out of here, Natalie.